Well, sometimes as a footballer, you have to get used to playing in a downpour. That could be the case this evening. The rain has been lashing down. I'm Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary position, as always, by Lee Dixon. And the focus is very much on live action from the championship. You, it's Sheffield you. Wednesday, and they face Luton Town. Thanks, Derek. Yeah, really looking forward to both teams producing entertaining football. Let's see if we get that. Might really be able to trouble them here. Preston crossing into the middle. Here's the Sheffield Wednesday starting 11. Pretty well balanced this formation, Lee. Yeah, it can be a 4-2-3-1 in the offensive mode, but it can also go back to a 4-5-1 when you're defending. The lone striker will be supported by the three just behind him, especially the number 10 who will be given a free roll. This is the lineup for the visitors today. A 4-4-2 with a slight tweak, maybe. Yeah, it's all about the central midfield players in this formation, Derek. The two players, instead of playing... Well, quite simply, the cross was too close to the keeper. Really a very poor ball. Doughty defending to win the ball back. But almost an early test of officialdom. What's the referee going to do? We've barely got started and already a yellow card. Now, will that be potentially problematic for player and official? Well, it will be because the player's on the tightrope now. He's now thinking about everything that goes in front of him. And that was a very fine read. Excellent ball over the top. Running towards goal. Just a matter of thumping it away. And the attack fades out. Harris. Meluso. He continues to make hay. And a chance for them to nudge in front. Absolutely magnificent goalkeeping. Oh, he's almost turning away. He thinks he's scored. The goalkeeper doesn't. He's driven in the corner. Is this the moment? Not to be in terms of the finish. And I believe there's been a goal in the Barnsley match. Alan McAnally can give us the lowdown. Alan. It's a goal for Barnsley. 16 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks, as ever. It's got to be! Well, body in the way. Well, Derek, listen to that noise. The crowd can sense something. Can the players use that to their advantage? They really, really need to put this pressure on. This looks promising. And a powerful effort, but just lacking accuracy. Yeah, narrowly wide, Derek. Decent effort. He smashed it. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. And showing fine vision. No real threat, you've got to say. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Delivered into the area here. Foiling them effectively. Just not looking confident in possession. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. He has time to play it over. Danger averted. Bodies forward and the break looks on. And given away.
An awful lot of green space to run into. Give it away. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. See some progress with the ball at his feet. Not messing around with that clearance. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. And offside it is. Oh, he fancies his chances. And fired against the crossbar. Well, fairly routine for any goalkeeper. He's driven in the corner. Well, he failed to get it away properly. Possession changes hands, the interception there. Butterfield. And now, passing it through. Well, that is how to run at defenders. Not a good pass. Good use of advantage by the referee. Oh, he's through here. It has to be. And a goal it is, the opener in this game. Well, keep it tight. That's what both managers would have been insane. But now the opening goal's gone in. Tactics have got to change. Well, when we see this again, it is a wonderful effort, a solo effort. Got to question the defenders. They just back off him, and he takes full advantage. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Well, you've got to keep the ball a bit better than that. The hosts really haven't had too much of the ball, but on the break, they've been devastating. The pace really hurts defences. They've been electric when they've had the ball. And giving the ball to the opposition that time. The has there will be a it's got to be! Just drifted into the illegal position, offside, in the opinion of the officials. So, the whistle then, we're at the halfway stage. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. And that's an important intervention. He's given it straight to the opposition. You've certainly got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Lee. Well, he'll get an extra sugar in his tea from the coach at half-time after that great first-half performance. Still touch and go in the second half with only a one-goal lead, though. A championship match that should hold plenty of intrigue. Join us on EA TV. It's Sheffield Wednesday facing Preston North End. Well, that should be a really interesting match-up atmosphere. I'm sure we're going to get an absolute belter, Derek. Well, more championship action for you to look forward to on EA TV. It's Luton Town versus Barnsley. Yeah, Derek, should be a great atmosphere there. It's one I would be tuning in for if I wasn't there with you.
And I know a lot of people have been speculating about this one for a while, but now we don't need to speculate anymore. It has gone through. Alan has completed his move to Atletico. Well, Derek, a figure of around £35 million is being banded around. I'd say you're getting a lot of player for that sort of money. He should be a real asset to the club. Poor attempt at a pass, really. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. Opportunity it is. Well, as the attacking side, you might dispute it, but... Offside by a hair. Yeah, spot on from the linesman. Spot on, but he was close. Substitution for Luton Town. Coming off the pitch, number 19, James Collins. Half an hour remaining then. Number 14, Harry Kermit. He has plenty of support. And there's the feed into the box. Well, quite simply, the cross was too close to the keeper. The visitors' possession stats are brilliant. However, after that, the coach will be disappointed. Pointed with what they produced. They need to be a little bit more clinical in front of goal. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. They won't complain about having won the corner and maybe an opportunity to increase their advantage and firing it into the fisted clear. Excellent ball over the top. He continues to make hay. Well, he has clear options in the middle. Staunch rear guard action. Well clattered away. What can he do from here? It's there for him. Berry. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. Will he play it in? No nonsense clearance. A good and fair challenge. Butterfield, moving the ball nicely, trying to carve out the equaliser. Giving the ball away. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up, and now both will rely on their respective benches. Just 10 minutes to go. Given away. He's got the right idea with that pass. Playing with purpose and control. An important interception. Just unable to get his cross beyond the first defender. And they'll have to throw. But back in play. Substitution time it is. Training.
There might very well be late excitement. Five minutes left, and the margin just one. Far from a good pass. Now can they counter clinically? Just listen to the fans here, Derek. They've just kept their noses in front, and these fans are doing their best to push them. Great opportunity! And the ball is in the net. The crowd have gone crazy, and quite rightly so. What a finish that is. Well, don't you just love counter-attack football? Pace, power, coordination. The movement off the ball is absolutely brilliant. And there's a finish to match. Well, a second goal for them here. We've had the official word, there will be a minimum of two added minutes. A bit of running room now on the wing. That's it, the referee brings the action.